let me get started in just a second here. Just gotta load the game up and everything. Then uh we'll be going, I guess. my Xbox handle up in the right corner there. Uh, I only use it for Xbox, Xbox Game Pass games, so... I don't think my audio is peaking. My microphone is definitely peaking. Let's try that. Oh, it's in the red still. to my let's try of the zombie piles. I briefly played for a couple minutes just to see if I wanted to do a let's try of this and uh, I decided I would I was going to. Um, didn't get into any other real gameplay mechanics or anything so we're gonna see what we have going on here. So let's start with a new game. Yes Wish it would make the cursor go away. <laughs> Definitely have to adjust my sensitivity on this mic. It's picking up on way too much. Moving my head makes it. Ominous. I have seen this intro, but I like it.
Day 1, Friday. Friday, 10.54 p.m. Loon Park. Investigation. During investigations, the main character, date or date, inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor in your view. By looking around, moving the cursor finds something that catches your eye and inspect it. So. Is this like a hidden object game? But with investigation? I didn't notice it. how much choices and look. When you speak to a person, you present them with choices and look. Use a choice to select a topic of conversation. Look will allow you to observe the person you are speaking to. Look. I call her boss. She runs ABIS, special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Um, rain is awful. It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. True. Are you serious? You're Special Agent Kaname Date. Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Dante? Do I? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Who found the body? Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Please. After finishing discussing topics with someone, they might have a new thing to talk about. Talking to people choose topics to interest you. You might obtain important information or tools. Selecting log, log will allow you to recap any previous conversations. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. I like that you can actually hear that. Um, any suspects? Not yet. We just found the victim. Whoa. Too early to say anything for sure, but this could be a copycat killer at work. Copycat? On the case six years ago. Six years case ago? Six years ago? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. Case six years ago. Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. Wouldn't putting Date on this case be a conflict of interest situation? Um, since he has previous ties with the dead person? They were just acquaintances. Right now she's standing in the pool rain with her umbrella. Up, so there's nothing more to talk to her about. How about you, Mr. Inspector? Look, an inspector from Metro. Hope he finds a lead. What's your name? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Okay, uh, thanks for coming out here. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Anything go on? Not yet, sir. What's your name again? It's Kagami, sir. <laughs> and again? Kagami. <laughs> this is mean to do to someone, but... Are you serious? It's Kagami! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, yeah, I'll leave you alone now. Policeman. Look. Local cop. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. Well, that sucks. Oh, there's another cop over there. But he doesn't have anything to say. It's a bench. It's a bench. Skewered the house. The there it looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Okay. Menu contains a number of functions to file, flowchart options, and guide. The game will also be able to save manually. End the end of game. Okay. File. It allows you to read information about the people you spoke to, the terms you've heard, and it's updated as the story advances. Okay, so. First note Date. Name Konami Date. Sex male, age 30, birthday August 3rd. Russian police officer, advanced brain investigation squad. Metropolitan Police Department. Likes class cars, curry, bonito, Elvis's Raika. It's like soft boy legs, punk kids, and ghosts. Collects vintage magazines. Reaction time increases at least 0.6 times under certain conditions. Is a sensor. Sinker? Data uses data uses a sink machine to dive into the minds of suspects of persons of interest. The minds of suspects of persons of interest? Okay, he lost his eye six years ago but replaced it with a prosthetic eye. Which houses an artificial intelligence known as an AI ball. He also lost his memories passing. He also lost all his memories past six years ago. Tracy might be related to the case, maybe, since she didn't want to speak about it. Aiba. Name AI ball. It's female according to settings, age five. Investigation set. Assistant likes insects, spiders, crustaceans. One zero one zero 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 one 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 zero one zero one. It's like sturdy jokes going outside the simulation. Sneaks outside of Dante's eye socket while he's sleeping and makes mischief. Skills hacking for scopy voice imitation 3D modeling. Iba is an autonomous artificial intelligence. She usually takes the shape of an eyeball and resides in Dante's left eye socket. She assists Tati by gathering information, connecting networks to databases, using her X ray thermographic functions. Designation Boss Sex Female, age 42. Commander of Abyss, Special Investigation Team of Metropolitan Police. Likes wine, gourd dolls, anything black. It's likes happy families, ex boyfriends, MPD's director, decluttering and organizing. Abyss going to club from Kabukicho. Skill grasping people's weaknesses, applying pressure, making them obey. Wow. Boss is Dr. Direct's superior, longtime friend. She appears to be an easygoing optimist with a carefree attitude. She is cunning as a fox with a quick wit. That's all the people so far. Abyss updated. Advanced Brain in Investigation Squad, a special classified division of the Metropolitan Police Department. Has been conducting criminal investigations by understanding and penetrating human mind. They station six floors underneath MPD headquarters. Few know of their existence, even among the police. Okay, everyone knows about that. Um, their investigation used not to the sex scenes and push people. So we progressed by investigating objects and speaking to people during the investigation said that you can move your view and your cursor freely. Look around the area, interact with anything that catches your eye. Okay. During the story, you can obtain information using the IBA special vision modes, as mode change, depending on the situation. Map movement. When you're able to move locations, map appears at the bottom right of the screen. Open the map or map to pick and change your location. Uh, in flowchart, you can view the progress of the story, see branching paths, chapters will be added as by progressing through the story. You can jump to a certain point in the story by selecting a chapter and investigation progress. Game options, save, top menu. Okay. Flowchart. 
kick sword is probably a branch points to flow chart. By selecting chapter investigation probably should jump to any point in the story. Okay, we don't need to do that because we're um, at the very beginning of the story. Oof. It's been eight years since Boot Park closed. But it's gotten to it pretty bad. I mean, it's depressing. It's been like this all day. Well, you'd have to be the one to tell me. Not a skewed horse. It's almost pitiful. Okay, Ferris wheel. The old Ferris wheel is over there. Feels like an enormous eye staring down at you. Sort of. Barrier. Red barrier line wraps around the scene. In the old days, they used to use the other caution tape for this. Now we've got cheap hologram technology that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old fashioned yellow tape. Aerosol is compelled by the rain. Panda ride. The panda ride looks lonely. More skewered horses, another bench, control room. This control room? It's what operator says to turn right on and off. I took a look at the side, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Okay. So if it's yellow text, they have more to say. What's your name again? What's your name again? Okay. <laughs> Alright, so fence. There's a fence set up around a merry-go-round. How to prevent those in case we get caught in the machinery. Horse. It's horse on the merry-go-round. Column. It's the main column holding up the roof. Okay. Corpse. The body is mounted on one of the horses. I should get a better look. I took a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. Why not? I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. Oh. It's Aiba. Her official designation is AI Ball. It's artificial intelligence built to my fake eye. An eye for an eye. <laughs> You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. Iba's vision modes. When playing throughout the story, Iba's special vision modes will help you, may help you obtain new information. Now use the zoom mode to enlarge your target. Select zoom and examine the corpse. You also view the controls and start. Wow. Left the eye. The left eye socket is vacant. The victim has had her left eyeball removed. That sounds familiar. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Well, uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. The eyeball has also not been recovered from the scene. So the killer took it with them? That is highly likely. Why would they do that? I believe answering those kinds of questions is your job, Special Agent Dante. <laughs> okay. Base. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, alright? I'm just... upset. I knew her. I know. Remember that I also saw her several times. Though it has been quite some time since we last saw her. Okay, body. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death? Blood loss from these wounds. And a bit of a cough there. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Okay. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. Several puncture wounds with no cuts or tears. 
That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth. Like an ice pick. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? The noise came from That's inside. It. Use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. Okay. What the? Oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Hey, wait! Shut up! Push him aside, ran up the platform. Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something. No reply. Looking closely, I found a small handle on the column. I grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. It won't budge. It may be locked from the inside. Damn it. Hey. Whoever's in there, stay back! That's a cool gun. Izuki! Who? Oh, she's holding a bloody ice pick. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? You're... What the... What the heck? Where do I even start with this? I can answer <laughs> all of your queries. <laughs> Alright then. Who are you? <laughs> I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. You, um... You look something. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. I did. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation. My brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping right now. So things that I should know. Can't remember, my head's all fuzzy. I'm not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! Hmm. Got it. 
Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Calm down. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. Wake Date up. Date's dream world. When the stream is a real dream, trust the light to wake up Date. Okay. Somnia, you explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Ibuck closer to the door and investigate. Oh, so I can move. We have some updated files, so. Mitsuki. Mitsuku Okiura, female age 12, 6th grader, likes tonkatsu ramen, stew, unagi, metal pipes, and iris. This likes raw seafood, how Date holds chopsticks. Abe's Britain Cleon, like an adore rabbit merch. Sings martial arts and enjoys mentally, emotionally attacking Date. Mitsuki is Renji Okiura, Shoko Nadami's daughter, although she's not related to Date. They gave her a de facto guardian four years ago, to have lived under one roof ever since. And she was holding what looked like a murder weapon. Shoko Nadami, that's a dead woman. Best in company representative, director, likes to be envied and praised, just like someone who heard her in the past. Hobbies, winery tour, Scandinavian furniture collection, Pilates. Skills lying and cheating. Oh my god. Choke is the ex wife of Reju Okira and Mizuki's mother. On a Friday night in November, she saw the merry go round. Oh wow. Appendix. ACTH. Adrenocorticotropic something hormone. Stress simulates the adrenal cortex. Secretes this hormone behind the senses increased defense functions. It is secreted on a daily basis by the author. Extreme mode. Similar to fluoroscopy, Earth is constantly related with cosmic rays from space. Cosmic rays contain X rays, and Ivory is able to detect those X rays that pass through objects and see them. Because this works along the same logic as an X ray machine, we unfortunately cannot use it to see panties. Developers. Okay. Almost heat. Reading from the adrenal cortex triggered by stress increases heart rate, body temperature, blood pressure, and blood glucose, and activates body's defense mechanisms. It's another hormone my brain secretes constantly. Really? You had to tell me what a puncture wound was? I don't know if a trial would be considered a puncture. While in the summary, you can select objects that flow through nameplates, the number of investigative objects increases or decreases depending on the progress of the summary. Open a map of the current summary with a map font. On the map, you can check your current location and objects you can inspect. If you are lost, open a map to find the object that looks interesting or important to inspect. 
Okay. The map is a Y button. You see your current location objective. You've investigated it, but you're still on the end map. If you're lost one safe time, try to check on the map. Okay, cool. What's with that skeleton just sitting there like that? It's creepy. She's a little creepy too. A door locked with a padlock. Investigating things you can choose from a number of options give Iba instructions. For now we'll have we now have Iba investigate the door. Okay. It appears all I have to do is open this door. be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnio, a reality built by dreams. My Somnio? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. Places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? <laughs> the, the smile on his face looks really creepy. Don't forget that I have a veto. <laughs> uh, yeah. New object is here. Move Iba over to it to investigate. Oh, there's two new objects that have appeared actually. But I think that's gonna wait for another time. Overwrite my test data. And we're gonna call it here. I seem to have a strained a muscle at my side somehow. It's making it hard to concentrate on the stream. Um, what do I think? I think I'm gonna come back to this for sure. I might just do a regular let's play of it actually instead of a stream of it it seems more suited maybe to a let's play um less chance of the bots my cats coming by and saying spoilers you know so yeah played just about half an hour I think that's a good a good time frame for a let's look at so yeah, um, if you stop by, thank you for watching. If you watch this on demand on YouTube, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. And I will see you again in the future for another Let's Try. Or a stream of a different nature. We'll see. Have a good day and see you later.